Yo, como están? This is Wild on Tunes, and thank you for joining me on my channel. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell for future notifications. This week, we're going to be going over something that happened not too long ago about a veteran who was at an open event and was regulated about wearing a three-piece set. Roll the intro. Yo, we're back. This is Wild On Twos, and like again, thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm out here riding Bandera, Texas, in the hill country after a nice hard day of work. Just wanted to clear the mind. So there is a story that surfaced on a good friend's YouTube channel not too long ago. There was an event that was open to the public, and a U.S. military veteran that was there was wearing a three-piece vest that did not claim an MC and he was regulated on by a support club of a larger 1% MC which in fact I would hope that they themselves got regulated on by that club that they support the veteran was not wearing anything that said MC he was wearing something that said the branch of the military some saying and veteran in the bottom rocker. When support clubs are out there playing patch police on veterans at events open to the public just because he has a three-piece setup, it's time that we all admit that this patch police thing has gone way too far. There was a member of in the Page MC for Life on Facebook that said, quote, when pride and respect for our service members goes to the wayside, American pride dies. I myself believe we have the freedom to do what we want, of course with the respect of the culture. You just need to know that no matter what the majority believe, there will always be a handful of people that will cold heartedly disagree with you and will try to prove a point. But, this wasn't the 1% club that bullied this veteran. It was a support club. I highly doubt that if this was a one-to-one -one thing, that it would have not gone the way it did. But they decided to outnumber the vet and bully him. And this is a veteran. If anyone, if anyone has earned the right to wear whatever they want to wear it's a veteran who has sacrificed so much for this country and especially us now there's two sides of the point of views here of course the vest and the cut is our uniform it's our culture and it's we it's we who earned the patches that we're wearing so some in our culture see it as he didn't earn the right to wear the three-piece as it is a stolen valor like the military. Just like I have the right to put on camo clothes and most people won't give a fuck about few people, you know, me wearing camo, a few people will. They will get pissed off even though I'm not claiming to be military. But in my eyes I believe that the veterans in our country deserve all the respect in the world and this was a foolish act on the support, car, uh, support club's behalf. I highly believe that the 1% club of that support club would be also upset. I know I would, and I'm upset. Like I said before, this was a public event, and he did not go into a 1% party and try to claim anything. Many people out there on the internet jump on this bandwagon of some people on the internet that publicly pat others on the back and become sheep who aren't even in the club acting out as if they are now the f***ing appointed knights to control any and all patches they see. Like I always say, I believe we all have the right to wear what we want to wear with respect for the culture. And if not an MC, don't act like a f***ing MC. Be proud of who you are and what you represent. 
just like that vet was proud of being a veteran all right guys well please leave comments let me know what you think much love and respect and until next time peace